Beagle Harrier. The Beagle Harrier is a dog with amiable and cheerful character with its homeland in France. It is a skillful hunter with an excellent scent that practices truly conscientious attitude to its work. The breed is considered to be rare in its native country and stays almost unknown abroad. There is considerable controversy about the Beagle Harrier's origin. Some experts say that the breed was the result of crossing British breeds, the Beagle and the Harrier, but others suggest that it is descended directly from the mutual forefather of both the Beagle and the Harrier. Supporters of both hypotheses coincided that the Beagle Harrier has in its pedigree medium-sized French hunting dogs. Disagreement also exists as to when the Beagle Harrier appeared initially. One theory claims that the dog was created in France between 11 and 15 centuries. In this period England was under Norman rule so the English and the French noble people kept in touch with each other and oftentimes exchanged hunting dogs. So the probability is high that the Beagle and the Harrier, or their common forefather, were introduced to France during this time. If it's true, in development of the breed took part such old French hunting breeds as the Saint Hubert Hound, Bloodhound, and the Grand Blue de Gascogne. It's even more probable that the Beagle Harrier was invented in the 19th century. Progress in transporting technologies enlarged opportunities for travelers as well as improved the speed and safety of travel. This meant that the breeders from the France and the United Kingdom could afford to bring the dog from even the most remote countries. It is believed that the Beagle or the Harrier, or their crosses, were imported in southwestern France at this period. In this case more recently created French hunting breeds, for example, the Petit Bleu de Gascogne, the Brock Francais, Pyrenees, and the various breeds of Basset, also played a substantial role in development of the Beagle Harrier. There is a theory that the breed was developed by the French nobleman and sportsman Baron Girard, who had private kennels in the 19th century and decided to produce a hare hunting breed. The Beagle Harrier is a talented hunter, which can hunt on wide range of games. The French use this dog generally for hunting on small game, but it was also useful for hunting on dare and wild boar. It habitually works in packs and is preceded by a hunter on a horseback, seldom on foot. The breed didn't acquire much popularity in its homeland not to mention the rest of the world. It's predicted that it's going to disappear altogether in the near future if some measures are not put forward to preserve it. The Beagle Harrier was recognized by the Fédération Sinologique Internationale in 1974. The breed also has an acceptance of the United Kennel Club since 1996 and was acknowledged by the Continental Kennel Club and several other minor canine clubs. The Beagle Harrier is a boisterous and friendly creature, which is able to form tight bonds with its master and his family. The dog is really open in expressing its feelings and emotions and loves to give kisses. It craves to the company of loved ones and can become uneasy and simply miserable if left alone for a long time. The dog will make an excellent friend for a child once correctly socialized. It can tirelessly play with a kid all day long. As a hunter the Beagle Harrier must communicate with unknown people during the hunt. That's why the dog gets along with strangers and manifests practically no aggression towards them. After passing proper socialization and training it will treat every human being with respect and politeness. The most of the breed members will become a mediocre guardian dog since it's too amicable and outgoing to effectively perform the guarding duty. The Beagle Harrier lived in packs of few dozen other canines and was obliged to put down any issues of aggression. On the whole it is fine with other dogs and will enjoy cohabitation with one or more canine animals. The breed was designed to trace and catch different species of animals and it still retains much of a hunting drive. It will most likely pursue streets cats and other animals so the constant usage of the leash is highly advisable. Nevertheless, this breed is noticeably less animal aggressive if compared with other similar dogs. When it has been appropriately socialized with a home cat it won't harass or in some other way bother it. 